The Little Mermaid, Part 1 in a kingdom hidden beneath the depths of the ocean, where colorful corals swayed and mysterious creatures roamed, lived the youngest daughter of the sea king, King Triton. Her name was Ariel, and she was unlike any other mermaid princess in the kingdom. With her fiery red hair and an insatiable curiosity for the world beyond the waves, Ariel spent her days exploring the coral reefs and collecting trinkets from the surface world that had sunk to the ocean floor. Ariel's fascination with the surface world was a secret she kept from her family and friends. She had a secret grotto where she stored all her treasures from the human world sparkling gems, delicate seashells, and most importantly, human artifacts like a fork she mistook for a dingle hopper and a broken statue of a handsome prince. She would often visit her grotto to daydream about life above the waves, where she believed she could walk on two legs and feel the warmth of the sun on her skin. Her closest friends, Flounder the Phyasach and Sebastian the Crab, often accompanied her on her underwater adventures. Sebastian, however, had the daunting task of watching over Ariel on behalf of her father, who was sternly against any contact with the human world due to its dangers. Despite his efforts to keep Ariel safe, her curiosity knew no bounds. One fateful day, Ariel heard distant music and followed it to a shipwreck on the ocean surface. There, she witnessed a celebration on board, led by the handsome prince whose statue she had recovered long ago. As she watched from afar, a violent storm struck, causing the ship to capsize. In a desperate attempt to save the prince, Ariel swam to the surface and pulled him to safety. To be continue.